greetings. We, are the guardian. Welcome to night vision. I saw a person in need the other day, so I stopped to see if I could help. He told me to take a hike, so I punched him in the face. Just kidding. I can't say that I didn't want to, but when someone reacts negatively to your offer of help, it just means that they probably need you even more than you thought. Their reaction may have been out of fear, or embarrassment, or pride. But, you cannot force anyone to let you help them, so I just looked at the dude and said, have a better day my friend. And then I took his advice, I went and took a hike. The fact that I almost punched someone that smarted off to me, showed me that I was under a lot more stress than I realized. Between my job, my screwed up family, the economy, COVID-19, my finances, and a myriad of other burdens, I realized that I was approaching a breaking point. I don't like to think of myself as being weak, so I tend to soldier on, no matter what the circumstances are. I work all the time. I don't recreate, and that's not good, that's not healthy. Being a workhorse is good, but no one is superhuman. We all need a break. You don't have to go to Hawaii or to some long forgotten desert island, you just need to get away for a little bit and clear your head. Take a nice long prayer walk to a secluded area, and pour your heart out to God. Express your needs, your emotions, and your fears. He will hear you. Take a notebook with you, and ask him for direction. As he leads you, and guides you, and gives you insight, write it all down for future reference. It's not that you won't remember, it's just that the world has a way of diluting those types of experiences, and before you know it, you're back to punching strangers. And get back into church. Church is good, it's therapeutic. But remember the old saying, the church is not a museum for saints, it's a hospital for sinners. It's a place for broken people to get mended and healed. It's a place for people to come together and be human, not superhuman. It's a place to let your hair down and just be yourself. That does not mean be carnal, it means be real. Be transparent and genuine. Let people see the cracks in your armor. Most people that go to church are just like you, they love God, but they are a little beaten up. The cares and concerns of the world have left them a little worse for wear. So let people see that you are just like them. You have your ups and downs, and strengths, and weaknesses, just like everyone else. Build some new friendships, and restore some old damaged ones. But don't go to church to get healed by a physical person. Don't expect other human beings to take the place of God. Jesus alone is the great physician. He alone can mend a broken heart, or a broken family, or even a broken life. It all starts by taking stock of what it means to be human, to be honest and vulnerable. It's okay to be strong, just don't try to make people think you are the rock of Gibraltar. That's an image that no one can live up to. Not only is it impossible to maintain, it causes others to go down the same path, and they end up being just like you, trying to maintain a facade of invincibility. So drop your guard, and take a hike. You'll thank me for it later. Peace be unto you and your house. Taking a hike is not a miracle cure for all that ails our society, but it's a start. It helps the human heart to make much needed course corrections. But nature cannot take the place of creation. And creation cannot take the place of the creator. So make sure when you take your hike, that the end goal is to reconnect with God. Only then will you find true peace, meaning, and purpose.